We have just clinically proven which gender is more delusional using one simple test. The test asks a series of questions to see how many people in the population fit your ideal dating criteria. Yes, because a media quiz is the best way to find a clinical or even scientific answer to any question in the world. I mean, I recently took the Hogwarts quiz, and in case you guys were wondering, I'm a Slytherin. What's crack a everybody? It's your boy Thundros. Have you guys ever wondered which gender is the worst? Uh, uh, apparently we're gonna find that out today because this guy has found the questions. This man has found the holy grail, the bible of questions if you will, and he is willing to share his results. What a good man. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and make fun of it because you know the responses are, are gonna be lovely, plus uh, I've got nothing better to do today, and then I'm gonna drop you guys some like good dating tips at the end of the video, so you know. Stick around for that, but kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's get to making fun of some people. What's the minimum height? Five, nine. All right, I'm out. Five, ten. Five, nine. I'm not saying there aren't shallow women out there. There's definitely shallow men. But guys watching this right now, please learn the difference between preference and deal breaker. I, I promise anyone watching this, that there's still hope for you. I mean, I'm five, five, and I can still get a date. <laughs> Please don't give up because of this. That being said, uh, there's probably a good reason why all these girls are single. I'm taking L's today, damn. <laughs> Minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. You know, I've seen a few girls in real life say this stuff like, oh, 5'8", 5'10", 6 feet tall, and then they usually end up with guys shorter than Peter Dinklage. So I, I guess what I'm trying to tell you guys, short kings. Your time will come. Nah, but to be fair, on the flip side, I know guys that will not date tall girls, which, I mean, first of all, they're missing out, but that's not really my problem, but they'll be like, the girl's gotta be shorter than 5'2", and she you can't come up to my chest, like, it, it happens on both sides, people, so please, please do not judge all women based on what these girls are saying. Five, eight. Five eight. That's reasonable. Five ten. Six foot. Five six. Like at least six. Now I did something most people don't do these days called a cursory Google search because I wanted to see what percentage of the population approximately was six feet tall. Now take it with a grain of salt, like I said, cursory search, but apparently it's only about 14.5% of all men. Can you even imagine limiting your dating pool this much? Like your standards would literally be too high for yourself. Like, yeah, I know I'm only like five feet tall and I'm not that great of a person, but if you are not six foot two, do not come near me. Like, 14.5% is not a Gucci number. Like, that's how you know this is just a preference. What is the ideal height that you're looking for? Over six feet, right? <laughs> no preference. I don't care. 5'3 to 5'. Okay. Shorter than me. What's your height? 6'1. I guess taller than 5 feet. Now listen, I I'm not gonna call myself a feminist, but I'm usually advocating more for women than I do for men. So I, I find it hilarious that the girls were like 5'8, five, 5'9, five, 6 feet. Meanwhile, half these guys are going any, any. I don't know, maybe 5 feet. And the crazy thing is, most women still think they're in the buyer's market. Like, girl, most men really just want to be loved. I'm not concerned about height. I'm under 5'10". Let me get real picky here. Yeah, so you go to 4 feet? Or you yeah, go yeah, it's great, man. Can That's we go lower than 4 feet? Can we go under 4 feet? I, I mean, hey, yo, uh, yeah, you can, but that's called middle school. I'm just saying, maybe we should remember this face and please put him on some kind of watch list. Under 4 feet, though? Like, uh, really? I, I feel like at my size, I would crush that. Like, physically. What, what part of that gets you going. Ah! Here at Thundros Industries, we usually believe everybody deserves to have a right to preference. Not this man. <laughs> if I meet a funny, beautiful woman who's, you know, four feet tall, go for it. Or just like a very funny, beautiful woman that's like seven seven. If I ever met a woman that was seven foot seven, I would go get a stool so that I can get on one knee and propose to her. Now the odds of me ever meeting one are probably about 1 in 492,562, which is why it's only a dream, a preference. I will never, ever get to live like that. Nah, but we have another four footer bro here. Uh, we might need to start making a list or something. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. Yeah. No, no. Nah. No, I'm inclusive. Except if you're below six feet. 
So let me get this straight. A factor that you are willing... Okay, let me get this straight. A factor that most of us can absolutely control, you are willing to just let us let go. But the fact that I can't dunk, you're just gonna be like, you're out of the running, sorry. You're, you're just, you're not that guy. How am I supposed to win here? Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out logic here. Like, really? I, I can be on my 600 pound life and you're fine with that, but... Really? Exclude obese. Would you be willing to admit it on camera? I would exclude. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. What about if they're fat? Do you care if they're fat or not? No. You don't care? Or you I care? don't care. Like, I enjoy little dad bod. And that is the most wholesome thing that is probably going to be in this entire video. I enjoy a little dad bod. Like, I I'm pretty sure you just made, like, a million men smile. And some people are going to think, oh, it can't possibly be that easy. It is. Really. The other day, a girl told me she liked my haircut. I hate my hair. I mentally could not accept it. But it still made me think, oh my god, she likes my hair! Y'all really have no idea how little men get complimented. Like, really? Anything. Would you exclude overweight and obese? No. Yes. Would you exclude obese and overweight? I'm going on record, but yes, I would. Nah. No. What about overweight or obese? You yeah, no, I definitely give a fuck about being no, overweight. I love that this is like an even split because some of them are trying to not look desperate and some of them are trying to not look too insensitive. And then you got one guy that's like, listen, I, I know, I know it's controversial, but I I'm just going to go ahead and say, yes, it's a deal breaker. I'm sure someone somewhere is, is giving him hate for that. Stupid men and their unrealistic preferences. Meanwhile, my dumb ass is probably simping for like 80, 90% of the girls I've seen in this video. I want like $100 or cheaper on the dinner bill. So yeah, <laughs> minimum income. Like let's 60? Say 60,000. 70K, $30,000. I don't think that matters to me. I really don't care about income as a student myself. Like I don't have that much money right now. I'm a broke college student, so I guess they can be broke as well. So I'm in college, I don't expect you to make a lot. All right, he's on food stamps, so. I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. Yeah, no, I think blonde women are just the problem. Like 200K? Really? They're like the orange cats of women. They just all share a brain cell. Like you would hope they would mean total. Like they're gonna also be making 100K or something. Like 200? Though to be fair, in this economy, 200,000 is probably uh, not good enough to take care of two people. Anyway, I'm going to start wrapping this video up. But before I go, I'm going to drop those dating tips that I promised at the beginning. And the first tip I'm gonna drop is going to be exclusively for guys. First, coming up behind her means you have to come up to her unguarded. And two, Doing that subcommunicates that you are not confident in yourself. There are good social power moves, and this is just not one of them. You should be entirely focused on her comfort first. And the second major tip, make your intent known. The longer you spend around somebody, the more time you're spending idealizing them. And also, you get to that uh, metaphorical friend zone because that's just all you've been to them. A lot of people are gonna say the friend zone doesn't exist, but it does. Guys and girls do it to people, and we do it because that's just the only way we've ever seen that person, and we like that relationship the way it is. We don't want it to change, and they never gave us any kind of early hint that, hey, I want more than this. But also, that is a great way to not be hung up on somebody for a super long time. Like, you, you don't want to be thinking about the same guy or girl for seven months, like, oh man, it, it, is she going to text me? Like... If something was going to happen, it would have happened seven months ago. But that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to the channel. It does help out a ton. And uh, you know what? Uh, tell me in the comments which do you actually think has the higher standards, guys or girls? And like actual standards, not just preferences. But try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourselves safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.